In this video, we're going to continue our discussion about users and roles. Remember, we just created a, a role for users that was test role like one or something like that. Now we're going to use that role in two places. One, I'm in my course right now. I'm in my test course and I come down to users and enrolled users. Now, Every user that I enrolled had a role to begin with. For example, my role is facilitator, and then there was another, then another student had a test user had a student, and test user 13, 16, and 4 were all t students. Let's say we want to go ahead and change the role of a student. So we want to make them an assistant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come into roles, hit the wrong button there, I'm going to come to my enrolled users and I want to take care and I want to remove that role of student so I wish to remove the role from the, that user. Then, if I want to go ahead and enroll more users to other roles, I'm going to come back, I'm going to take test role 1, and I'm going to enroll test user 1 with a role of test, of test role 1. So when the screen refreshes, I now have test role 1 as a test user. Now, the other thing we can do is I can come over on permissions over on the left hand side and I can check permissions, what the different roles are allowed to do. And then I'm allowed to override the permissions within a course. In other words, I can select my role and I can come down and override the permissions. The next thing I'm able to do by coming back to my default my first page of the course is I can say that this is an activity that I can assign different roles to. For example, I have a survey activity in this week. I don't want my standard roles, in other words the student, the teacher. I want to make let's say one of the students Let's say I have student 13, user 13. I want to make them an instructor for that one survey. Then if I want to come back and say, and the rest of the students still remain student. Now let's say that I want to make everybody else there. I want to throw them in the test role that I set up. So I would take the rest of the users, with the exception of 13, and I could add them to the test. This changes their permission for one role and that one activity only. So we can assign roles at a system level, I can assign roles at a course level, and I can assign roles at an activity level. And all of those change the permissions. Be very careful with role assignments. Like for example, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to remove that extra teacher because I don't want someone to have related privileges, so I'm going to remove that. Then I'm going to come down and I want to remove the test roles because again, that was a pretty heavy upgrade, so I'm going to remove my test users from that role. Okay, so now I have my roles back to default and everything's the way it should. Because again, any individual role assignment filters down from the, from the highest level, which is system, then course, then activity.